Hi, sweet face. If you're sensitive, I have a story I want to share with you. I was reading the book, Untamed, and I'm going to share it in the description below so that you can buy it. But she talks about sensitivity. Her daughter was told that polar bears were dying because of global warming at school. And her daughter couldn't stop talking about polar bears for like weeks on end. And her mom was starting to go crazy about it. And like most people, when someone's sensitive, they're told they're crazy. They're getting on people's nerves. Why do you care so much? But I like what she says about sensitivity being a superpower. And I want to share it with you. Mommy, I just can't stop thinking it's the polar bears now, but nobody cares. So next it's going to be us. Then she goes on to say, oh my God, the polar bears. We have to save the mother freaking polar bears. Next, it's going to be us. What is wrong with us? Then I looked down at my baby and thought, ah, you are not crazy to be heartbroken over the polar bears. The rest of us are crazy not to be. She goes on to say, that her daughter is sensitive and that is her superpower. And then she says the opposite of sensitive is not brave. It's not brave to refuse to pay attention, to refuse to notice, to refuse to feel and know and imagine. The opposite of sensitive is insensitive and that is not a badge of honor. Then she goes on to break down that when you're sensitive, what you're doing is you're stopping and slowing the world down. You're making people sit with their feelings and say, hey, you mentioned something that made me feel and wonder. Can we stay there for a moment? I have feelings and I have questions and I am not ready to go outside to recess yet. She ends with this. My little girl is not broken. She is a prophet. I want to be wise enough to stop with her, ask her what she feels, and listen to what she knows. If you're sensitive and you've been told that you're crazy, you're too sensitive, and people meant it to you in a bad way, I'm here to let you know, and so is the author of this book, you have a superpower and you need to keep tapping into it. Keep nudging the world to slow down. Keep feeling and wondering and asking questions because sensitive people are what makes the world go round and it's really good to be sensitive about something that is probably where your purpose lies and that is your super power and i hope that you keep going and you keep being sensitive i love you and i hope this little message resonated with you today